Today we are talking about tile. We receive so many questions about how we select the tile, the scale, the size, the pattern, grout colors, and I'm going to walk you through some of the decisions that we made in our own home. We partnered with Clay Tile for so many spaces in the home and I'm excited to answer some of your questions today. Clay stands out because they feel so artful in their approach to tile. They've sought out heirloom quality from across the globe and put a lot of looks on the map here in the US. I love their artisanship and passion for the craft. They started online but just opened a new headquarters where they have a guild where they teach young artists how to take the craft of artistic tile to a new level. In my own home, we were building new and so it was really important to me to incorporate character and texture. Clay is amazing at delivering just that because they have this hand-formed approach and so every tile is uniquely different. The color variation, it adds interest and character to any space. As a designer, I want every room in the home to feel special, to feel unique, but then also flow one room to the next. Our kitchen and our pantry are a really great example of this. I really wanted to carry the clay tile from one wall in our kitchen into the pantry. So we did the clay tile in a brick pattern and carried that all the way up behind the open shelves in our pantry and it adds character and interest and some continuity between the two spaces. There are endless possibilities when it comes to tile, but the best thing you can do for yourself is start with a color palette. I'd say the best way to do this is to pull inspiration images of spaces that you love and look for consistent colors in each. In Ren's bathroom, she loves white and gold, she told me, so we kept it light. Then, to keep it fun and girly for our little girls, I did this kind of rosy pink border around the base of the room. We get asked a lot about picking the right scale for the space, and I think that there is not a one-size-fits-all approach, but there are a few simple rules I like to follow that make it easier to pair tile together. I say always vary your scale in some way. In our guest bathroom, I wanted the pattern to be square because we went with a Carrera on the walls that's a rectangle. I feel like it adds a lot of interest to a space when you change the scale of things. So if we had kept the same size and shape on the walls and the floor, it would have become a little boring. So we took the tiles and we cut them down into this four by four square and laid them in a pattern with a light grout. Tile layout. This is another great way to add interest. So if you have a rectangle tile and you are kind of wanting to add a fun pattern to the space without being overwhelming, I would say cut it down and lay it in a herringbone pattern. Both girls' bathrooms, I wanted to have some similarities but also feel unique to their own personalities. So, we did a marble mosaic in both rooms, but we did different patterns. So that's where I started. In Ivy's, we did a small hexagon, and in Wren's, we did a herringbone pattern. Keeps the floors clean, neutral, classic, and then we added a little fun on the walls. We receive so many questions about grout colors, which is fascinating to me. I would say, the best advice I have is there's not a one-size-fits-all approach, but go to your hardware store. You can buy a little pack of grout sticks, they're called, and it's just these plastic things that represent the tile grout colors. And hold the grout stick up next to your tile and you'll be able to see what feels best to you. Do you want contrast? Do you want it to be the same? Do you want it to be a little bit lighter? But it's all about testing, just like when you paint 
a sample on your wall, grout is the same way. So I've tried to answer questions here, but we are answering even more of your questions about tile on our blog.